the best running quarterbacks in the country. Jesse Ertz on the field. Perfect throw. Pringle down the sideline. Touchdown. 79 yards. Wow. And Pringle got a fantastic release at the line of scrimmage and was able to run right around the cornerback. Nick Harvey, just excellent job of technique and being patient. Watch this. Just sets it up, puts his foot in the ground, and then it's pure speed. What a throw by Jesse Hurd. Wildcats 2 of 6 on third down. This is third and 14. Again all day. Oh, he's got a receiver wide open. Wide open. Far sideline, caught at the 40. Daylight ahead for Tremaine Thompson. Touchdown. I wasn't sure Jake Waters was going to see him. It wasn't his target, but there was a total breakdown of the secondary of TCU, and eventually because the protection was so good. Texas take it the football back and scored a touchdown. They took advantage of it. Everett, on the handoff. Nope, he kept it, and he's got a man open. He fooled me. 25, 20, 10, and a touchdown. Jordy Nelson. It may not be hard to fool the play-by-play -play guy, but when you fool the secondary, you've got it done. Well, and it all comes off the play fake. The safeties get way down. You can see Slay, the safety. He's way down in near the line of scrimmage. We, you talked about at the beginning how he's the biggest hitter on the field. You can kind of suck him in there sometimes with that play fake. And this all comes off of the fact that Kansas State has had some success early. The numbers aren't huge, but they've been efficient. With K-State backed up on third down and 12, three out of four on third downs tonight. Oh, this is good. Underneath they go, and why not Vaughn? What a green in front of him. Look out. He might take it the distance. Double deuce. He could go. Push down inside the 15 by Melo Dotson. What a remarkable explosive for Vaughn, and Dotson saves the touchdown on an 80-yard scamper. Yeah, Melo Dotson's got some jets now. He's got big end speed. Now, when we look at Deuce Vaughn, we know he's quick, but he's quick, quick in the natural soft spaces, and then he explodes. He gets to his top speed very, very quickly. But Kansas State last in the Big 12 on third down, 32%. Martinez heated up, sheds a hit, got it downfield, and it's caught by Brooks. Shakes loose. He could go. Phillip Brooks. Goodbye, touchdown. The five foot seven veteran playmaker goes 81 yards for the score. The magician. What an incredible play by Martinez. Staying alive. Brooks. Over the middle, completes the pass to Dalton Schoen. Schoen's got speed, racing to the end zone. Touchdown, 82 yards. Second touchdown of the year for Dalton Schoen. His other one was 70 yards. Well, it almost looks like a carbon copy of what we saw Texas do against Maryland. There's nobody in the middle of the field. So as you see Schoen break to the post, Ertz comes up to play fair. Great timing, and there's nobody home. Two seconds to get the snap. A third and ten. A bullet caught. First down. K-State. Tons of room. Pringle. Can he take this all the way? The distance stays on his feet. 83 yards. The number two receiver runs that little bit of that. And you know what? Why they didn't call that? He didn't turn into him, much like a basketball, basketball player will do. He was still running his routes, chopping his feet. I think they're going to get rid of that from their playbook. <laughs> a little bit of that right there. Meyer, oh. wide open, and it's caught. And this is going to be a touchdown. Kansas State's Tony Madison, goodbye.
long touchdown passes. Back to throw is Jonathan. Has some time. Has some time. Now being rushed. Rolls out. Looks downfield. Lobs a pass downfield. Looking for Morgan. Makes a catch at midfield. Quincy off of the races. To the 40, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Kansas State. It's an 88-yard touchdown pass from Jonathan Beasley to Quincy Morgan. And for Quincy, it's his fourth touchdown of the year. You got to hand that play to the Kansas State offensive line. KU came out with an all-out blitz, a late safety blitz right up the middle. The quarterback, Jonathan Beasley, was flushed, and when he was flushed to his right, he just kept working and working and finally threw the ball downfield, and the KU defender, Quincy Rowe, tried to make the interception. That was the wrong choice, and it ended up being a long K-State touchdown. Austin. In Austin, looked like a well-oiled machine. Waters right at his goal line. He wants to middle of the field, throws it up for grabs. Lock it! 25, 20, 15, 10, touchdown, Kansas State. What do you, what do you say? I can what say, do you say in this situation? 90 yards on the answer after Clay went 64 for Oklahoma. Zach Sanchez, the freshman, has the unenviable task of formation behind Bishop back in the pocket Michael looking downfield throws the ball gets hit as he throws it but has a man open Lockett makes a catch 40 yard line Lockett's gonna go 50 40 30 20 15 10 5 touchdown 98 yard pass play for Kansas State Bishop to Aaron Lockett